I just wanted to make a quick uh, video and give a shout out to uh, Rain Man of Wall Street. You know, he's made a lot of funny videos in the past, but it's entertainment. It's entertaining. Um, I never took offense to any. See, this is what you don't understand about the Eighth Father. Even with Commander 35, listen to me. When people make fun of me, when people break my chops, I like it. I enjoy it. Even when Phil for real, remember who makes the boxing match matches matches where everybody's knocking me out, like everybody, you know, whatever. I, I think he made a, the Jim Ingram, whatever. He knocked me out. Everybody knocks me out. Senior citizens are knocking me out. It's funny. So see, that's the thing that no, no one seems to understand on YouTube. Okay, so I really like this guy Rain Man of Wall Street because you know he he texts me, we message each other. And both of us agree that Lou has just got to go down. Like, he's got to get off YouTube. You know, I don't want to get too personal, but Rayman of Wall Street, like me, had experiences where we both listened to Lou like jackasses and, and lost a significant amount of money. Okay? Again, you know, it's a kind of hard thing to, to prove because Lou the Coward, I think, took down all his Clo videos. Okay, which is why I have to actually speak to some other sources that I have that might actually have them. Okay, because yeah, yeah, Lou, Lou said that Clove was going to five hundred. <laughs> I don't know if, it, you know, and then and then when when it when it when it tanked, Lou was laughing at everybody, making fun of everybody, and just let's say the Rain Man of Wall Street dislikes Lou just as much as I dislike him, because you know what it is. Listen to me. It's one thing, it's one thing that you you talk about a stock, you understand? And it's another thing that you're laughing in people's faces. When you're the one who brought up this stock, you're the one who said it's gonna go to 500, and then for everybody who is bag holding it, because they listened to you, because you said, Lou, it was going to 500, Clove, you're laughing at them. Ha 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 ha, you losers. Oh my God, you, you did sell, well that's on you. No, it's not on them. Lou, it's on you, because you're the one who doesn't have a disclaimer. You're the one who says, I, you never say that you're not a financial advisor. You say you have secret connections. You say you have insider tips. You say you know all the biggest traders. You say people in Wall Street that are very prestigious traders, hedge funds, they come to you in the park at Central Park. This is what you say. They give you information, and you relay that information to us. So a lot of people lost a lot of money. Anyway, I think my phone is my phone battery's getting low here. Let me uh connect it to the car. Hold on there. Ash better. There you go. So I just wanted to give a shout out to uh the Rayman of Wall Street. You know, even though he he, he likes to break my, my ball sometimes, ultimately he's a funny guy. It's entertainment what he does. I I, I, I like him. I think he's a funny guy, really. I got no problem with entertainment. But what, what Lou does is not entertainment to me. What Lou does is he hurts people's lives He in terms of financially, you know. And well, apparently he also murders people. I mean, he claimed that he murdered people in uh, Mexico. Right? <laughs> so I'm just saying Lou is just a bad seed, man. He's a bad seed. He's evil. I consider him to be a devil. The way he spoke about my wife, the way he speaks about other people. And um, I'm really going to try hard. I'm really going to work hard to get his ASS off YouTube because this dude is just evil. He's bad news, man. You know, everyone who just listens to this buffoon, bald-headed, fat piece of shit either loses money or in some way their lives are affected in a, neg a negative way because of this buffoon.